I walked outside this morning and I startled a squirrel. It shot across my yard, zipped up a fence, jumped up onto a telephone wire, ran across, leaped over to a tree. I mean, it's just sort of like, how on earth does it do all that? I'm a roboticist who is frustrated by, but also fascinated with how animals move. And the reason I'm frustrated by it is because we have no idea how to synthesize machines that are anywhere near as good as animals. I just want to know what these animals are doing and how they're so successful in achieving this behavior. I kept trying different kinds of experiments and different kinds of analyses to get at that question and failed a lot at it. I went to work in a biology lab that studied animal behavior and animal movement and animal biomechanics and I had no prior training in that whatsoever and this could have been the beginning of the end of my academic career, right? I mean there was just no reason to think that I should be able to succeed in that. Fortunately, the set of tools that I had combined with just this desire to know led me to a unique way of putting my training to work on a set of biological questions, but, um, but it was a failure for a long time. When I started my postdoc in 2001, my first paper in biology wasn't until 2006, right? And that required me, you know, doing experiments, them giving me meaningless results that were totally uninterpretable, like, I mean, I didn't know what I was doing, right? So I had to, you know, keep trying and keep failing um, until ultimately we began to put sort of the pieces together. I think that's something that people don't really necessarily realize is just how much you have to be willing to, to mess up in order to figure out something new or different. I think it takes the willingness to take risks where you could just fail miserably. People get that when great discoveries were made, like when somebody discovered or invented the transistor, right? This changed everything. But how did they do that? They did that through a basic discovery process. They didn't really know that they were going to be developing the, 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 the core of a future microprocessors. The focus on the fundamental and its long-term transformative impact can't be overstated. That kind of innovation really required a lot of failure along the way.